Hey, it's Rav. I'm 5.5 months on T, 3 months post-op, and today I'm gonna talk about how I'm feeling, how I'm looking, and how I'm healing 3 months after top surgery. Like before, we'll be covering mobility, pain, sensation, and appearance. So number one, mobility. I feel like I have pretty much full mobility at this point. Like, I do feel like some stiffness occasionally when I lift my arms up, but like, other than that, I don't really even notice any decrease in mobility. Like, it's really not debilitating in any way, and I actually feel like I might even be removing the mobility section from my post-op update moving forward because I don't really feel any effect anymore. Number two, pain. I actually don't really feel much or any pain day to day. Occasionally, I'll feel some tenderness or discomfort, like random parts of my chest. Occasionally, I will feel some tenderness at the edges of my scars here and there. But other than that, I don't really feel much pain, if at all. Then now we're gonna be getting into number three, appearance, where I get shirtless. Shirtless raft time. So we're gonna start first with the bad stuff, and then I'm gonna go into the good stuff. Starting with the bad stuff, because why not? Ignore this situation here, it has nothing to do with my healing. Number one with the bad stuff, I have like a dog ear situation that I'm not super fond of over here. It's not like terrible, but it is noticeable, and I'm hoping to talk to my surgeon about getting remissions done. After watching another guy's video, and I'm blanking on his name, he mentioned having stress marks and I realized that is something I had also noticed with my own chest where if I'm stretching my arms up there's like some stretch marks going on. Another thing that I've noticed is that where my scars meet they crease quite a bit especially if I'm like hunching over. I'm not like the biggest fan of that. It does give off kind of like a cleavage situation and that's really not my end goal. Not my end goal at all. Another thing that I'm not the most fond of is that like you can't quite tell the difference between nipple and areola they're all just like one flat ish lump all around i was hoping they would improve at some point but i'm not sure if they ever actually will but i was thinking of getting them pierced because they're like pretty much dead anyway i think piercing them would like bring some skin forward which would i think help with this situation i was also potentially thinking of getting them tattooed to like perfect the shape a little bit and to like get them a little bit more symmetrical and a little bit more so they're not a vertical oval like i would prefer like a horizontal oval is an option that i'm considering and exploring and probably gonna do next year or whatever and like i've talked about before with my arms down they bunch up like this but if i'm stretching back they're fine if i'm like raising my arms they're fine it's really just if i'm kind of like hunching my shoulders down that like there's this like bunching up i'm hoping working out and building my pecs will improve this but i'm also not sure again ignore these not part of my healing process honestly we'll see we'll take it a day at a time a month at a time and like see where things go. So that was the bad stuff, and now we're gonna get into the good stuff. I'm actually getting some nice color back. Like, this is not as red as it was last month. They're like, going closer to like a brownish kind of color. More right for how my skin is. My left pack is still very much the MVP over here. Much more natural looking. He's fading so nicely. Much lighter, and they're not very raised i can barely feel them versus my right pec who's still pretty lumpy who's still really ropey <laughs> but even if my left pec is still the mvp and doing really well my right pec isn't doing terribly he's catching up he's definitely improving a lot swelling much less in this part that was really bothering me for a bit it's still an issue but it's improved significantly. Overall, I'm feeling pretty happy about how it's looking. Right side is definitely catching up, left side is still doing fantastic. Colors coming back, like I'm feeling good. Now we're talking about number four, sensation. I'm getting a lot of random itchiness around my nipples, just all around my pecs, along my scars, trying not to scratch at them too much. But most of the itchiness is at the front. I don't really have itchiness like at the back over here. On the bright side, I seem to actually be able to feel the itchiness and actually feel the scratching. The first month after my surgery, I couldn't like quite like feel this. I felt like a disconnect. But now I do feel like I can actually like feel this properly, which is nice. It doesn't feel like I'm like trying to dig and like not getting it. My nipples sensation is still not the same and probably never will be. I can kind of almost tell the difference between like a fingertip touch versus like a nail touch. I can kind of feel the difference. It's not super easy or super natural to feel the difference. I feel like I'm using like a different part of like my brain, I guess, or my nerves 
to tell the difference. So it's kind of like rewiring in a way, but I do feel like I'm starting to get some of that back, but differently. And just in general, I just feel much, much less of a disconnect overall with my pecs. I do feel much more on my left than I do on my right because my left's the MVP. Overall, I think I'm healing really well. I'm not 100% satisfied with like a few things here and there, but I feel like, you know, it'll like be resolved eventually one way or another. Whether that be the natural process of healing over time, or my own muscle building fitness journey, or, you know, revisions with my surgeon. I'm pretty much just telling myself to be patient. I'm actually really bad at being patient. And I just have to focus on what I can change. And what I can change is my fitness. Like something I've been really enjoying lately and I am liking how my body is improving. And I'm just trying to find peace with not making any concrete decisions about revisions for now and focus on what is improving. And that's a lot actually. I am improving a lot and it's nice. There's new art on my Instagram of my very chaotic children, Raja and Juno, and I am planning that my next video will be six months on tea. I'm like starting to outline and plan how I want to put that together. And I'm feeling pretty good about that because that's a big milestone. It's six months, that's half a year that I've been on testosterone. It's gonna be wild. So I'll see y'all on my next video. Yeah, bye.